society because I'm from the South, so there's very few Greeks in the entertainment business. So I came out here a year ago and I was just thrilled to see how many Greeks are involved, actors, producers, directors, and their CEOs. So it's exciting. I'm here just to network and be my fellow Greeks in the business. So where, where in the South are you from? From Clearwater, Florida. Oh, wow. So you found that there weren't a lot of Greek people in Clearwater? Well, there's plenty of Greek people in Clearwater, okay. just in the, in the entertainment oh, industry. In, entertainment. in the South, I think I might be the only Greek oh. in the business <laughs> that I know of. So oh, it's, it's kind of exciting to come here and just to see a vast amount of people in the industry. It's is exciting. It, is it a big shift to be from Florida to California? I don't think so. I think I kind of, you know, blend anywhere I kind of go. I mean, it is definitely different families back home. This is a new environment, but it's exciting, new beginnings. So I'm excited to be here. Thank you. So congratulations on directing and starring in this movie. Thank you so much. What are you most proud about? How do you feel about that kind of I'm very, very proud and uh, very happy uh, that I'm here right now. And uh, you know, it's, it's my movie. So a director and a writer, it's like a child. Yeah, it's, it's like a child that's growing up and starts to walk. So you nice. wrote the movie as well. Yeah. Yes. Wow. So this is like giving birth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> It was a challenge because um, I went to the casting uh, to Athens. I flew in because they were looking for a Scandinavian girl for uh, this part to Lisa. And I have to play like a double character because she's tough, very professional, almost a cruel, like her face. But then later on, I discovered she does have a heart and she's human. So she has both cultural parts, and I have to find both characters to give them everything. Well, I do horror films. Gay, gays of the Dead is like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> what can I say? So are you, are you not here in the movie tonight? No, you're not. You're just here to watch. No, I'm here to support the cast and the young filmmaker. I love the Greek Festival every year. This is one of the more successful film festivals. Every year, the Greek Film Festival really draws a nice crowd. And the films get more and more sophisticated. They have more international appeal instead of just a straight cultural connection. And this young filmmaker too, got J.K. Simmons and Cloris Lichman in the same movie. That's pretty impressive. Sorry? You're in the movie tonight? Yes, in the first story, Boomerang. And um, are you from Greece? Yes, I'm from Greece. <laughs> Is this your first time in Los Angeles? Yes. How are you doing? <laughs> it was a big trip, but it was so nice to be here. Yeah. Have you done a lot of these red carpets before? Not at all. <laughs> it's the second after the Greece uh, premiere. But it's so nice. I'm here, first of all, to support the Greeks and the Los Angeles Greek Film Festival. And um, Melpomeni was also an official nomination. And it was screened on Thursday. And uh, what else should I say? Well, tell me about, so you were in that. In that as well. Yes, I'm, I'm the leading actress in Melpomeni and also the composer and producer. And the story is about, it's about a love story, but it's also, it has to do with moving forward in life and being redeemed and restored and renewed. And it was filmed in the heart of Athens, and I just really enjoyed doing this project. But it was also very difficult because it requires you to be transparent and real, and it was something that was hard for me. And so when I did release it, I just felt that I felt I was confident, and it was something that people could relate to. And it also gave hope to the, the Greek people that are suffering and going through crisis in our country and it was just a really beautiful experience to do this project because I could relate to my people being in Greece and going through what they're going through and just being able to give them hope something that's tangible Amazing, and congratulations on all the good stuff that's happening, right? Thank you. Yeah, you deserve it. Thanks. So, tell me about what inspired you to um, do this movie. The story, um, 
I had actually just, my agent and I had been talking about, um, you know, sort of in general about what kinds of things I was interested in doing next. And this was shortly, after, just as Whiplash was sort of hitting, and, uh, and I, I was anxious to stay away from Whiplash kinds of characters. And, and I said, you know, one thing I'd love to do is a, 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 just a nice love story for 60-year-olds. And um, although Maria is not 60, so I mean, <laughs> let me put that out there right now. Um, and then the next day, he sent me Christoforo's script and uh, for Worlds Apart, and uh, I, I loved it and uh, said, "Sign me up." And I heard you talking about how you got to go to Greece and have a great time there. It was lovely. Yeah, I mean, it was uh, it was brief because uh, uh, I'm always. It's hard when you're in a beautiful place like Greece and working with wonderful people, because I I always try to minimize my time away from home because I like to be home with my wife and kids. So the time I had in Greece was mostly just work, work, work. And then I had parts of days off. And Cristoforo, who's not only the, a producer and the writer and the director and the star, he was also the tour guide for me when I was in Athens. Since the Academy Award, has it been harder to find the balance between work and, and personal? Uh, no, uh, it's always been uh, a balancing act for me between work and, and real life and unfortunately in the movie business a lot of the times you really do have to choose work or living your life because the days are not on Chris's movie they were very reasonable in Greece um, but the days can be ridiculously long and it's often out of town shooting so um, I'm doing a, a one more thing for uh, 10 days coming up and then I'm taking the rest of the summer off July and August are just hanging out with the family Hi, Pantelis Kodogiannis. How are you? Good evening. Good. Tell me about why you're here tonight. Uh, well, I'm a member of the Greek American community here in Los Angeles. I was starting a film that was shown here last year. And I think it's, uh, it's a wonderful way for Greek films to be shown to the public and to the greater Los Angeles area. It's always an exciting event. Are you uh, excited to see Worlds Apart tonight? I am very excited to see Worlds Apart. I've seen the trailer. It looks like a very interesting project. and. Uh, um, uh, I can't wait to see it. It did very well at the Greek box office, so uh, it'll be quite a treat. Well, I'm here because uh, uh, not only do I love supporting the, the Greek Film Festival, they actually asked me to speak as, uh, as, uh, to the young filmmakers as an expert. So I've, not only am I supporting the event, I'm actually also supporting some of the artists coming through. And how do you, do you like doing that? Do you like watching, nurturing people's uh, talent? Oh, without a doubt. I mean, you wouldn't, first of all, they're extremely talented and it's like, all their questions are outstanding and um, it's amazing to see uh, uh, sort of what, what they've created and some of their ideas and really I, I was pretty excited at some of uh, uh, the uh, uh, coming films and projects that they're developing. I mean, what a great thing to do. It kind of adds to your own creativity, do you think? Oh, like you wouldn't believe, like you wouldn't believe because some of the questions that actually were posed to me were ones that, you know, I mean, you're just like r really coming up with um, unique ideas. I, I mean, some very exciting things, so I'm very excited.